The Ryobi 18 volt one plus one gallon electrostatic sprayer, how to maintain. The reason we clean the tank and the nozzles on our electrostatic sprayers is to reduce the chance of any possible corrosion occurring due to the chemicals being used. First, make sure to detach the tank and remove from the backpack holster to drain any chemical left in the tank. Then, fill the tank with a half gallon of water. A small amount of household detergent may also be added. Next, spray the water until the tank is empty to ensure all the internal parts are cleaned. Feel free to repeat the process until you are fully confident the chemical has been cleared from the system. To save time, you can purchase an extra tank specifically for water to clean out your unit. Although it is not recommended, if you choose to store chemicals in the tank overnight, just remember to unhook the hose from the unit. The hose can stay attached to the tank. Cleaning the nozzles. The reason we clean the nozzles is because over time, the nozzles can become clogged due to the chemicals being used. First, rotate the nozzle selector to remove the nozzle position and lift out of the tool. Then, you can place the entire nozzle selector into warm, soapy water to soak for about five minutes. Agitating the selector in the water will help loosen some of the clogs, and you can do this by shaking it. After soaking, blow compressed air through the front of the nozzle to remove internal clogs that may still be present. If the individual nozzles are still clogged, you can use the nozzle change tool included with the unit to take apart the selector. Once you remove each of the individual nozzles from the selector, soak in warm soapy water. Agitating them in the solution will loosen the internal clogs. Next, you can blow compressed air through them to fully remove clogs. Before putting the nozzles back into the nozzle selector, ensure that the O-rings are back in place. When putting the nozzles back in place, remember to correlate the part number on each nozzle to the nozzle selector label. An important tip to remember, the labels on the nozzle selector match up with the nozzles opposite the label. 